How's it, Sean from Combat Simulations? Today we're going to do the Naval Academy Torpedo um, tutorial. Um, so before we get started, please subscribe to my channel, it's free, and also leave comments and suggestions. And watch my videos and like them and share them, helps me a lot. Alright, so this is a tough uh, t tutorial to do, it's quite a tough one to do. So what I've done is I've taken off the realistic re uh, reloading torpedoes uh, section and I've taken off the uh, dud torpedoes. So I don't have any dud torpedoes and then the reload times are, are not realistic. Why I'm doing that is because you, I'm trying, the scenario is that this tutorial is about trying to aim the torpedoes. It's not about, you know, hitting with the dud torpedoes. I want to be able to shoot all those targets with the torpedoes. So the dud torpedoes is irrelevant. We'll use the dud torpedoes and all that realistic reloading time when I do the actual missions, the proper missions. At the moment, it's just tr training to shoot with the torpedoes. So, okay, so let's view the tutorial. And then the realistic loading times just to make speed the game up a bit uh, uh, in, the, in the tutorial. This tutorial presents the Periscope interface in Silent Hunter 3. The periscope interface is your main attack station when submerged. The vertical column on the right side of the screen displays the current position of the periscope head, marked by the red arrow, compared to the water surface. The periscope lever controls the rising and lowering of the periscope. The torpedo control panel allows the torpedo tube selection and firing. The data notepad is used to collect target data for torpedoes. <sighs> The solution gyro angle display indicates the angle at which the torpedo will be fired. The chronometer will display the estimated time to hit a target when firing a torpedo. The recognition manual includes the information needed to identify a ship. You can turn your periscope left and right by clicking on the circular view and moving your mouse left and right. At the top of the periscope view, you can read the bearing of the view the angle from the bow of the sub at which your periscope is currently pointing. By default, the periscope magnification is 1.5. <sighs> when zooming, the view is magnified six times. To quickly access the recognition manual when you have a target under crosshair, click on the ship notepad entry. <sighs> On the torpedo control panel, the indicators with Roman numerals mark your torpedo tubes. You can select each one by clicking on it. The green color indicates the tubes are loaded and ready to fire. To fire a torpedo, point the periscope crosshair at a ship, select a tube, and press the fire button. You will notice the color of the selected tube turns red. This indicates the tube has fired and the crew has already started to reload it. The small torpedo icons in the top left side of the periscope view show you the torpedoes you have fired. Clicking on them will display on the chronometer the estimated time of impact in red and the time left to impact. If the torpedo hit, its icon will disappear and the chronometer will automatically stop. It is a good idea to fire more than one torpedo at a target in case one misses or misfires. This concludes the torpedo tutorial. Okay, so let's just go back into the. So now make sure I'm recording here. Yeah. Okay, I'm here. Yeah. Okay, and I'm also going to because it's a tough uh, uh, tutorial. I'm also going to if I fail this one, I'm going to keep coming back and trying it. I may, maybe name, name this thing uh, one two the video one two, but that's just if I don't do well in this because it's a tough tutorial eh, aiming these torpedoes. All right, so technical manual, periscope control. The periscope is the U-boat's main torpedo targeting device, allowing attacks while the submarine is submerged. You can exercise access this periscope by selecting periscope icon, upper left side of the game screen. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut F3 key. You can raise or lower the periscope, uh, periscope uh, left click on the periscope lever close to the lock button. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut, shortcut page up key to raise the 
periscope and shortcut page down to lower the periscope. You, uh, te uh, periscope. You'll find targets within the periscope. You have to turn it around. If to find targets, you have to turn the periscope around. F3 is also a shortcut for it. I must remember that. Use the left and right cursor buttons to turn the periscope. I must also remember that's helpful. Instead of using the mouse, sometimes the mouse gets locked in and you just uh, it doesn't feel like a, I must use the, the I want to test it now. Alternatively, you can left click on the circular periscope view. In this way, you'll link the periscope to your mouse to revert the mouse cursor uh, to the to revert to the mouse cursor. Left click again. You can zoom your view using the tab key. In order to hit the target with the torpedoes, you need to have a solution to the torpedoes. There are two ways of, of acquiring a, a valid torpedo solution. Assisted targeting. Aim the center of the, uh, the crosshair over the, uh, over the target. It will automatically introduce the targeting uh, bearing data. This represents the position of the target as seen from the, from the U-boat. Uh, in assistant... Uh, to be replaced mode, the AI will perform all necessary computing uh, for a valid torpedo solution. Manual targeting. In manual, you have to collect the required data for the solution using a notepad in the upper right side of the periscope interface. You will need to find, you will need to identify the target. Left click on the recognition manual, select the correct nationality for the warships or use the merchant uh, vessel selection. Uh, section if the target is a merchant ship. Browse the pages of the selected section until you find a picture that matches the silhouette of the target. Check the small uh, square box on the page to val validate the identification of the ship. Be aware of your identity, uh, your of you that if you ident identify the wrong ship, the solution will be useless. That's the thing. You see, if you don't get the ship identification right, the thing is. To find out the range of the target, you'll need to know the target's maximum height. Take the, that from the page in the manual after you identify the target. Left click on the range entry in the, uh, in the t notepad. This will open up a new page on the notepad. You'll find you'll have to match the target's waterline with the horizontal line of the crosshair. Left click on the small icon in the lower left hand corner of the page. This will activate the steady meter tool in the periscope view you will have to place it at the, the place the horizontal line at the top of the target using this mouse in the topmost part of the ship you have to put that thing on and the water line on the top and left click that's why the that's why the the man the thing is so important the, the identifying the ship because each ship's got different heights and that's how they work out the range from known left click to input the angle the computing of this data will solve the range calculation. Validate the result by left clicking on the check item. To find the angle on the bar of the target, left click on the angle on the bar entry. This will open up a new page on the notepad. In the middle of the page, there is a representative of the target, the target ship with a full circle around it. Uh, on this circle, there is a cursor representing the U-boat position relative to the ship. Left click on the cursor and place it at your estimated position relative to the ship. On the, in the lower side of the notepad page, you will see a digital representation of the selected angle. Validate the result by left clicking on the check item. To find out the speed of the target, left click on the speed entry. This will open up a new page in the notebook. Uh, left click on the small uh, chronometer icon uh, in the lower left corner of the page. This will start the chronometer in the periscope view. While the clock is ticking, keep the periscope locked on the target. Observe the target in this mode for at least 10 seconds. Uh, left click to stop the, chrono marker, the chronometer. The speed is automatically displayed below the digital representation of the timer. Validate the result by left clicking on the check, it the check item. Below the notepad, you'll notice the gyro angle display representing torpedo solution. This represents the direction relative to the U-boat in which the torpedo should be fired to hit the target. This, the solution can be, will be valid only if the target maintains the course and the speed as of the moment of measurement. Now, as in the moment of measurement, torpedo control uh, panel. Uh, the round icons with the 
uh, Roman numerals in the lower right side of the periscope interface represent the torpedo tubes. The green color signifies that the torpedo is loaded. The red color signifies that the tube is being uh, loaded. The gray color signifies that there's no more torpedoes left to load in that tube. Once you have a solution, you are satisfied, you must enter a, the, a loaded tube to be able to fire left to fire. Left click on the loaded tube to select it. Left click on the fire button to launch a torpedo. Uh, Uzo uh, the Uzo is an alternative U-boat periscope can be used when the submarine is on the surface. Uh, this uh, U, uh, Uzo functions as a periscope without a zoom function. Note also that the user magnification, magnification factor is 7. So it's about 7. So it's, you've got to zoom in with a periscope. Alright, so let's just start this. Let's get going. Ooh. Uh. Okay, let's bring this up. Let's see if this page up works. Yeah, it does work. I want to see those arrows keys work as well. See, yeah, you can click on the mouse, then it just goes dead. You can move it. It's, it's, it is. Yeah, the arrow. There's the arrow keys working as well. Um, it's easier with the mouse, but it's not so intuitive. Okay, let me just lock it on. Yeah. Okay, so. We've now got to find what this boat is. We know what this boat is. It's a, a tramp steamer. Uh, tramp steamer. Okay, so that that's important to know what this is. Otherwise, you can't. Uh, let's get this to the waterline. See, I gotta get this there, and then I can get this up there. And that tells me the range is 806. Oh, yeah, six. Now the angle of the bow. I'm gonna show you what I kind of. I know it's. I'm gonna put it at 40. But I'm gonna show you. Yeah. Oh shit! I must do that. Let's see what we need to do. Okay, let me just show you. I uh, see he is coming this way, right? And you're pointed this way. So if you take your protector and you point, put it right to the point where he is, and then you. It's like you can sort of. You kind of get the course. You understand? 39, 38, 30, 30, yeah, kinda, kinda. You just gotta keep, keep this straight, like 39. See this number here? That's the angle on the bow. It's not 100% accurate, um, but we know the course is going this way. So if we, we know it's going that way. That's probably, that's just drawing it that way. You see, it's drawing that. So if we can, if we can get the protractor, I mean, if we go to there, see, it's not, it's not, it's got to be to the point, to the point, yeah. So you put, put, use the protractor to there, to the point of the ship, and then you try and get as close as you can. That's one way of clarifying your, your uh, uh, angle on the bar. All right, let's just see what we have to do. Primary objective, sink the coastal merchants, sink the large cargo, okay, sink all small tankers, and sink the merchant ships. Uh, during the exercise, you'll have to demonstrate your ability to use the main weapon of the U-boats, the torpedo. There are five targets available. To graduate, you must sink at least the large cargo and three other ships, so four other ships. I didn't see any four ships here. Well... And four other ships, so... No, there is. There's a ship over here somewhere. Anyway, where were, where were we now? Uh, yeah, let's get the speed. So we got the speed. Now, he doesn't know we're here. He's not aware of it. But once the torpedoes... He sees the torpedoes in the floor, in the floorboards. 
these uh, the nodes. So we're going to enter that. Okay, so we've got 40 and... Okay, so we are going to... And we're going to change the speed to fast. I'm going to shoot him. And sh quick, two quick ones. Now I'm using uh, not that torpedo. So it can, when the torpedoes hit, they will sink this thing. Yeah, they will hit it. And also non-reload uh, 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 speed time. So that we can get the, we can move it up in the scenario. We can move up the... See, now he's moving. See, now he's moving. See. See, now he's moving. See. See, the bastard is moving. So I'm not going to hit these damn things. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do... We're going to have to turn... Hang on. So we're lucky we got re uh, loading. So... We're going to turn... Yes, sir. To there. We're going to try and get... We're going to try and get the, the angle six. right. Yes, sir. New course. One, nine. There was two torpedoes I wasted there, man. Two torpedoes I wasted. Because he saw it. Yes, sir. New course. Four, nine. Yes, sir. Ahead, stand. Ahead. Just want to just turn the boat a bit. So I can go on that. New so I can just be that side. Okay, I'm going to all stop it. Okay, so let's just see. Uh, see the gyro angles a bit. So. Let's see. Protractor. Let's just see if we can get an overall feel of this. So two there. And he's kind of like. Yeah, it's kind of like 47. Okay, good. One ready, sir. Okay, 47. Right, let's just load on him. Uh, let's just find the range out properly. Oh, shit. Better see if I can get this. And then up. So he's a little bit closer. We'll make it 47 like the thing and what's his speed? I'll leave this for 10. I don't know if he's got any speed. Oh, he's got no, no knots now. Now he's, he's painted a pretty picture for me. Uh, we're going to make that fast. And, yeah, we're going to fire it. And we're going to fire it. Now the gyro angles are a bit shit. Now if he stays on the course, I'll eat him. Now it's going, it's on target. No, we should hit him. Wow! Big time. Okay, so that's broken him in half. So the angles was right there. You see that? Even though I forgot it. Now I want to get this over here. Yeah, this is a large target. Large, large thing. So I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh, bring this down. I don't want to go... No, well, let's just bring it right down. See that's yeah, it's, uh, and let's just let's uh, yes sir and uh, let's do that. New course four three yes sir. So we want to try and get over here. New message received. Oh shit. And we want to go 
door. Yes, I'm going to read the message now. Okay, I'm going to move a little bit. I'm going to go at die speed. I'm, no, I'm getting a... Just so I can get closer. And just find out where he is. Okay, I'm going to pause it now. Okay, so I'm going to take off the speed. Yes, sir. Let me just read this message here. Uh, where's the messages? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, good job. Okay, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's let's bring the. I hate this thing because it. Where is it? Oh, now I can't see. We are, oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Let's lock on the target. Okay, so... This is always a help. See, he's like... Going away from us. Let's just identify who he is. Uh, I'm sure this is a. I know this is a lot because I played this before. But I'll see. You'll see it here. Large merchant, large cargo. See, it's got the four. Was was. You can't always see it. It's not like hundred percent, but it's got this. Let me just not block it. See, it's got this this back part here with a thick and then the front with the two so yeah all right but he is this this is the large you can't always tell well as long as i think this is a large target let me just see large merchant no he's not he's a large target okay he's a large cargo so now uh let's get the range You can't. I'm just gonna estimate it and put that on the height. Yeah, yeah, it's about that. Now you see the angle about just to get yourself. See now, <coughs> the problem is, is that yes, sir. Ahead one third. We need to. Five, we eight, need to. Yes, New I'm gonna Two, bring this. Yes, I'm gonna bring this down. She so can't see me. Yeah, I wanna. I wanna. I wanna. Yeah. Yes, New course, eight, nine. So I don't have that gyro angle problem. Yes, sir. New course. One, three, five. Yes, sir. New course. One, one, three. Yes, sir. Ahead, four. I'm trying to turn so that the gyro angle isn't so. Yes, sir. New course. One, one, five. Okay, so that's about it. Then we, yes, sir. we're going to hit the speed. And we're going to arouse this thing. Now we have to go and bloody find it again. I had a large cargo there. Should keep the page open. He's right there. There. Set. Okay, let's lock him. He's, he's locked. Right, so it's a large car. So we have to do his, his height again. Okay, so range. There, and we're gonna... 
Okay, so his range is about 450. Now the angle in the bow, just to make sure, he's heading this way, right? So we'll... Oh, tractor. Oh, well now we fucking fucked it up a bit. Yeah. Okay, so he's going there. I mean, it's not accurate. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't... I can't see it now, man, because this bloody thing... Oh, man. There. Angle on the bow. So we... Oh, we can't see it, man. Because the bloody thing is... Fuck, man, I can't see it now. Hey, they want to make this thing fucking difficult to see, eh? Okay, yeah, alright. So he's kind of, you go through the center of the boat. He's about 139, 140. Okay, so we just, just do it again. So he's there. So there's the, there's the point. Yeah, he's about, uh, there's the middle of it. Yeah, he's about 144. See the angle of the bar? See that 144? It's not 100% accurate, eh? It's not 100% accurate. But, it's better than nothing, eh? <laughs> uh, what is it, 144, eh? I think it was 144. Oh, fucking man, where did I get this thing here? Uh, where's the protractor? Contact merchants moving away. Yeah, don't worry about the contacts merchants. I'm busy sinking a ship here. Yeah. yeah, it's about 100, 144. I say about 144, eh? Because I put it, I put it there. Yeah. No, man, it's not 150. To there. It might have changed because he's moving. Okay, so there. I'd say there. Yeah, it's about 155. Okay, so that's no bloody good. He's, you know, he's bloody fucking... He's bloody... Bring the boat down. He's moving now, you see. Now, I can't... I don't want to... I've got to get onto the right side. If that angle's too wide. I'm going to give him a stern shot. Okay, so let me go back there. Okay, so we want that sir. and we want that. New course one eight zero. Yes, sir. Ahead full. Ahead flank. New course two zero three. Actually, I don't want it like that. I want to go a bit New to the course, side here. Yes, sir. Ahead flank. Yes, sir. Turn into course, sir. Hey, 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 where are you fucking going? You're turning all the way. I said, Oh, Jesus. Okay, so let's just stop the bloody boat. Yes, here. Okay, this thing has gone and measured a. Uh, I can only. That's what this thing has gone and done. It's gone and measured over here. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, so go. Yes, sir. Ahead, flank. Okay, there we go. And we want it a little bit pointing this way. Okay, let's just see where we are on the bloody penal scope. I think I've missed the damn thing now. I should have just taken my shot when I had it. See, now it's like right behind the mother thing. Okay, let's just see. Yeah, it's right behind it. Fuck it. Okay. 
Okay, so he's right behind it. So there he's going. Okay. Uh, okay. So what I want is that, and I want that, yes, and I want the speed on, and I want this thing. Back. Uh, Get the speed going. Okay, that's fine. Yes, sir. Okay, so Ahead slow. let's turn. No, man. I want that. I want this. There. Yes, sir. A head flank. I, I'm going to shoot in this ass. I tell you, if it gets too much for this, I'm not. Okay, so that's done. Uh, that thing not floating. Okay, so let's just see where this, where we situated here. Okay, so we have kind of like perfect. Okay, so we we kind of like got it fucking very close yeah Jesus is close okay so let's get the large merchant thing going large cargo the range I don't know if we have torpedo we can shoot this close fuck it is, is, is that is that all right Oh shit, what's the angle now? So the angle is protector. The angle's about 90. Yeah. So we'll switch that to about 90. Uh, okay. Let's just get the speed going. Ten. A slightly over ninety, I'd say ninety-five. Okay, so it's going at two knots. Alright, so there's the there's the thing. Uh let's get this fast. <laughs> All over the place, yeah. Firing two one, torpedo in the water. Firing two two, torpedo in the water. Well, that's too bloody close now. Eh? What the fuck happened there? Didn't we sink anything? Okay, so we're too close, it looks like it. Okay, so... This thing is not moving, man. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just turn it here. Yeah? Standard. New course, one, one. I'm going to turn it this New way. That obviously, the how many torpedoes do you have? Yeah. Oh shit! We're real shit. Eh? We only got a few torpedoes. Yes, sir. New course, five, four. And I'm going to sit and wait until it goes a little bit far further. Let's 
Let's see if we can get this speed up. I was too too close, eh? Are we too bloody close? Is this thing sunk or is it not moving or whatever? <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, we're gonna. Head slow. New course one four eight. Yes, sir. New course one one three. Yes, sir. Ahead standard. New course one three nine. Yes, sir. New course one one zero. I think it's got a minimum. It must be about five hundred meters. I would have eat that torpedo. Okay, so it stops right there. Now, stop. Now, just speed it up. Stop! 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 Stop, man. Stop. Stop. Stop! 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 Okay, let this thing just get some distance from us. Let's just see now. I know this is. I tell you what, this is the hardest. So he's 155. Hundred fifty-six on the starboard. So torpedo should hit. There's a fucking unusual shot. We're not gonna. Okay, let's just find the range to it. Okay, that's about right. Angle in the buy, 150. Five to port, and what's the speed? <sighs> now we wanted fast computer uh, torpedoes. We just want to see how this torpedo goes. And I must enter it in, right? See, it's not. The angle in the bow is a bit. Oh, maybe. It's almost 180. Let's see if we can get something here. Yeah. I think the torpedo was too, too short to aim. Oh, we put it on a slow as well. Okay, that's fine. We should hit it. Boom! Fucking hell. That's in the... That's in the bloody... What's the time on our... Jeez, 38 minutes. We should... That's in the back side of it. Okay, so we, what we're going to do... Is we're going to go... To there. Yes, sir. And we're going to... Let's see if we can finish this off. That's one torpedo. Slow him down. Now, there's a fire on board there. This is... Because you keep, keep the thing up. Uh, yes, sir. Let's All see what stop. this. Okay, so he's there. All right, so we know now. Uh, there and there. That's the that's the range. Angle in the bow. Let's just see this. Just, just to give you an idea, I like to use this to. I know it's shit. <laughs> It's about, yeah, it's about 100, no, it's about 129, 130. Uh, where's the thing? 
at the speed let's just calculate the speed waste the torpedoes on these guys he's going about four knots let me just where's the what's that? see I got I uh, was too. It was too. Now you'll get the front of the ship. Well, it's going in a good angle, eh? I get the angles of the bow right. It's my last torpedo. Bang! <laughs> Is he over now? Is he out? Okay, so he's done. Right, so now we got to... Where's the other ships? That's... Okay, so we need to... What's our battery like? Our yeah, battery's still okay. Uh, we need to... New message received. Yeah, no, I know that's a new message received. That's okay. Well, we're going to follow that side. Let's see if we can pick up this target. What's the new message received? Yeah, well, that's well. Thank you for the well done. So there we got the large cargo. I want to keep this periscope up. I'm trying to see if there's anything there. Might have to come back down. Okay, so there's something down here. There's something up here. Okay, so let's just shoot one down to there. Let's just follow these circles. I've got that periscope up there. Eh? I wonder if I must surface. Let me surface the ship. So I can just get my bearings. Oh, okay, so there's one there. Yes, sir. Ahead slow. There's a ship there. Okay, so where's that? Let's go up to this ship. Okay, so we're going to take that out and we're going to make one for there. Right? And we're going to. Yes, sir. Ahead flank. I know we're going top screen am I under the water? maybe a meter what? let me just periscope this periscope this Hey, where are you going? What the hell's happened here? Oh. 
go back in here. What? Where, where is this going? Okay, good. So just go that periscope. Okay, go. I think I'm running. I don't think I've got enough time yet. Okay, pause the game. This guy's going in the opposite direction here. Let's cancel that. Uh, let's just get onto the surface. Surface is just, okay, we're just not going to know what the fuck is going on. Surface the boat. Periscope hey, down. Uh, we're gonna pause it. Okay, so where are we? Are there any more boats? We we got. I'm gonna put a no course down to yeah. Yeah, it's night time now. That's why we we ran out of ships because we <laughs> took so long to sink those two ships. Ah. Uh... Let's see if we can get... Because there was a ship down here. Ah, no, it's too... We, we let it go. Let's just go up to the fastest speed. So you can find another ship to sink. No, I think those ships are gone now. Eh? It's night time. Okay, let's just have a look. Yeah. It's a pity, eh? I think I've, I, I didn't pass this. Thing. Where's the... Yeah, so you see the primary objective. I didn't even get close to the secondary. Sink coastal merchants. Not even close. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to have another go at this probably. You know, let's just see what the result is. Complete, complete. Satisfactory. Ah! Satisfactory. Shit. Okay, so that's a satisfactory pass. And I don't need to come back and do it again. I'm gonna do training missions. It's a tough, tough scenario. You gotta, you gotta. I used the torpedoes, uh, the reload. Not I took out the realistic reloads and the duds, just so I could shoot the torpedoes. So we got the main merchant, we got the large cargo, and one of those merchant ships there. But then to get those other guys uh, and sh shooting that cargo ship was something else, man. I eventually shot, but I think I got, I think I got kind of the the gist of it. Of how this thing works i'll accept it as this i'll i'll i'm only going to get better from this but it's a, it's a tough it's a tough uh tutorial a really tough one all right so sean from combat simulations please subscribe to my channel and watch my videos and like them and share them helps me a lot all right until our next tutorial convoy attack a silent service 3 good day on you